What is going on guys? My name is Paul. Welcome back to a new video. In this video, we're gonna pack some freight. Let me show you what. So let's get to packing. And then be sure to watch to the end. I'll be going over all my prices, how much I made, paid, pretty much the whole thing. So let's pack three of them and then I'll get back to you on the last one and kind of go over how I do things. That
check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Sound right, boy. As you guys seen when I packed those is this is also a tailgate. That's a tailgate as well. So this the way I do it, I always just put the edging pool noodle and i get these from a dollar store they're like 48 inch long you basically just cut it and then put it right on the edge and then i use stretch wrap around it to kind of uh, hold it together then i put two layers of bubble wrap this one right here they're like half inch bubbles and 24 uh, two feet tall so i put two layers of it and then we put two layers of cardboard I'm lucky enough to have a neighbor that's bringing me cardboard. See all that? That's all cardboard. That's all wheel boxes. He sells a ton of wheels. So we just do this. And the reason I put cardboard, because bubble wrap on its own will pop, will burst. But if you have a cushion on top of it, it will actually, like we had a door go, go out and then the guy changed his mind. He sent it back himself and he never even unpacked it. So it went there and back. I think it went to California and back. And I mean the bubble it was exactly the way I packed it. So uh, after I do this, then I do my measurements. As you can see right here, 54 by 42 by 15. So it's 54 from that edge to that edge. And then it's 42 from this edge to this edge. And it's 15 inches off the floor to the top of that. So after I get my measurements in, that would be, as you've seen it, the way I do the loops, like the window framing deal for it. Pretty much that is gonna be the inside of the two by fours. So this would be my box actually, 57 by 45 by 16. So I kind of make two loops 
that go perfectly over and then I sheet both of them and then I just after that I just strip enough plywood like this to cover the sides this is the the easiest and the most basic way you can there's a lot of ways you can do it but this is pretty much how I do it and that's like whenever it's this tall where the top window frame and then the bottom are further out I also put 2 by 4s here but like in this instance I don't because the 2 by 4 ends like right there and right there there's just no reason to put a divider so that's pretty much how this all works so let me build up the two frames and get back at you guys pretty much build a frame make sure the size inside is what your door is so I got one built and as you can see and make sure it's not like tight but it's snug like see that edge is touching this edge um, pretty much is touching I mean there's maybe like a quarter of an inch which I usually put more cardboard at the bottom so it has a little more cushion but now let's grab uh, two sheets of plywood rip them since this is uh, 45 it's pretty much perfect so I'll have to rip them twice or cross cut it and rip it and then they look just like this beautiful so let's do that and then I'll explain what I do next the box is done the lid is done so all we need to put do is put that door inside of here put that lid over it and then just put two legs and that's it. As you can see, see how this, like it's low there, but it's high here. So just in case you screw up, you still have a whole entire two by four to like move up and down. But it looks like I need to add just another layer of cardboard because see how that side is all leaning in. So we'll add one more layer so it's snug in there. Let's do that. Um, and then the way you lift that up is you pretty much just put a screw in it and pull it up and that's it up that's the sienna tailgate uh ford focus tailgate prius battery and a cyan engine the four cylinder i'm happy um with the scales i just got one of these now because we used to use these guys and they don't last even though they're like six bucks at Walmart, but they just don't last and not accurate. So I got one of these, a thousand kilograms. Um, what are they pounds? 2,200, something like that. Close enough. But yeah, it's just the crane scale. They make these up to 10, 20,000 pounds. I really don't use anything that big. 2,000 pounds is plenty enough. So. Uh, whenever I pack stuff, I do label things whenever I weigh them so I don't forget. Like as you see, pretty much all of them are packed and labeled. So now I'm going to go on the computer and 
get them pretty much uh, get all the labels printed yeah uh, put the invoices in the bags tape them up um that'll be it here is the breakdown so plywood and two by fours 115 dollars i only used four we're not four hold on let's count i bought 10 sheets so i have four full and about a two-thirds of a sheet so five and a half sheets they're like 19 bucks something like that 18 19 so 115 dollars for all the lumber wood uh ford tailgate was 120 shipped to a terminal it's like six minutes away from the people's house uh toyota toyota uh lift gate for 94 it's going to illinois pretty close the hybrid batteries going to massachusetts um 108 and then the engine is going to georgia atlanta georgia so 102 um the ford hatch brought only almost 400 dollars toyota lift gate 800 dollars that's all with shipping included um we are running a higher sale just because our sales are slow so we're trying to just sell stuff so 760 for the battery and uh, 745 for the engine so our total for all the expenses minus the selling cost is 539 and then our total for the all the sold items is 2000 almost 700 so we subtract that and get 2158 the selling cost so that's pretty much the ebay fees 172 so our total is 1985 in 36 cents so that being said it's not too bad this took me about four hours to pack so maybe like four and a half um the biggest thing with this like whenever you're doing a lot of these is the setup how you're set up so if you have a certain area in your shop or garage where you do all this so whenever you do one it takes more time because the cleanup the setup is taking that time too but whenever you're doing four or five like i could really see myself uh doing 12 to 15 to 20 uh freights a day myself in a eight, eight to nine hours of working time so they turned out good um three of them are going central transport and then one is going yrc freight um central transport is pretty much the cheapest that i've ever shipped like that huge door behind is only 94 bucks so um yrc is also cheap um and then i've i've have never had issues with both of those companies even though central transport has lower ratings for some reason from some people but we ship to them just as much as we ship through yrc and both the companies um do the job just right Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Sound right, boys.